what is stopping an individual who's actually pumping fuel for QR code to pump more than their allocation? Is there anything that can actually stop them doing that? No, unless um, if they really want to manipulate the system, there are so many ways to right. manipulate it. Um, they can just do a full tank and say 20 litres were used okay. in the quota. Uh, that's where we want to make sure that the back end is being monitored daily. Right. So we, do, we are getting reports daily on that. Uh, so based on those reports, if there's a significant difference between the number of users of QR, the number of liters that have been dispensed, right. that's when we have right. to take strict measures. Right. But right. could be for technical difficulties as well. Right. But I know that uh, what I request the public is not to, um, um, it, it can be easily manipulated giving money yeah. to the pumpers or the fuel stations. But yeah, we've, we've heard it being done, yeah. we've seen it being done. But then, <clears throat> obviously, the, the, the drawback really is going to be on that shed. On that shed, and if we do find out that if that was done, the offence was uh, committed uh, by an individual, and that individual's QR code will be suspended as well. Right. That's the only thing that we can do from our ministry, because we can't take them to court. Exactly, um, exactly. And, uh, but we are on the lookout for that. So we will be enforcing this strictly. Okay.